If you're on a weight loss journey, a health journey, a body transformation journey of any kind, got some tips I want to share with you um, for if you're looking to do this the right way, right? If you're looking for like the short and sweet and flashy weight loss, this is not the page for you. But if you're looking for a real long-term sustainable weight loss away from bullshit diet culture, this is the page for you. These are the tips for you. So hang with me for a minute. I have been on my own personal fitness journey and continue to stay on that journey because a fitness journey doesn't just end. There's not a finish line. It's a journey, right? For seven years. Seven years I've been committed to just the process of eating to fuel my body and of continuously allowing this to take time because I'm not in a time crunch to get the body that I want for the rest of my life. And I think what a lot of us need to remember is that this is a journey. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And for our entire lives, we treated weight loss as a sprint. We're like, let me just get there as fast as I can. I'll figure out the lifestyle later. And then we never figure out the lifestyle. Let's reverse that mindset. Let's figure out the lifestyle now. And friends, I know it's not as sexy as that quick and shiny 30 pounds and 30 days weight loss crap, but we've got to rationally know that that's not the move, right? And so we need to play the long game. Um, and I promise that when you commit to playing the long game, that you actually figure out that the long game allows you to do this forever. And that, my friends, is the point. We don't want to play hide and seek with our weight, right? We want to lose that shit for life. So step away from the flashy, overpromised fad diets that you know aren't sustainable long term and truly allow yourself to invest in the sustainable way for once. Next up, you, you literally need to stop looking for an exit plan. I talk to a lot of women who say, well, what if this doesn't work? And I'm like, listen, when we have the contingency plan of this isn't going to work for me planted in our mind, we have confirmation bias in everything that we do. We start to not put our whole ass into something because we don't think it's going to work. And we need to stop telling ourselves that what if this doesn't work and instead say, I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure this works this time. I'm going to commit myself to giving it my all. That's going to change the action that we give, right? But when we tell ourselves, what if this doesn't work? What if I can't do it? What if it's like it ever it is every other time? Guess what's going to happen? We're going to end up falling back into patterns that prove that confirmation bias correct. So I want you to start to change your internal dialogue and tell yourself, I will give this my all because I trust that this is going to be my way through things. And when we stop going the fad diet route, we can trust that because that is the solution forward. Last but not least is you need to stop going back to the diets that always worked. Friends, they didn't work. Um, they didn't work for you and they're never going to work for you. Just because they helped you lose the weight doesn't mean they were successful. Because if your goal was to lose the weight and gain it back, then of course it worked for you. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say that wasn't your goal. So no, that diet didn't work for you because it didn't actually teach you how to sustain the results. And friends, this isn't just about weight loss anymore. This is about management, maintaining that weight loss long term. So if that's what you're looking for, if that's what you want, I'm the coach for you. But you have to be ready to break up with the fat diets.